Hi dear friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to pass PDC receipt and PDC payment entry. For that, I am already passed some uh, sales and purchase entry because we want to some outstanding. That is the reason I will show you that outstanding report. Go to display. Display uh, statements of account outstanding. This is my receivables. Okay. Then same way, this is the payable. That means ABC company is a receivable, XYZ company is a payable. So, first I am going to collect one PDC receipt entry from my customers. So, that time I am going to accounting voucher, then select the receipt entry here. So, my PDC check, that means a customer give check to me. So, the check date is next month. So, that is a PDC check. In that case, you want to put that check date here. So I am going to make this. Actually, the current date is 90 July. But when we are going to pass the PDC entry, that time you must change this now date for that instrument date. So here are going to change F2 and put the check date. It is a check date that you want to mention here. So check date is 1-8. This is a check date. Then the same time you want to do another one thing. So here there is a one button post date. You want to make this entry as a post date because the current date is 97 2020. So in this date we are going to make one post date entry for 1st August 2020. So again you can select your bank name. So I am going to select Bank of Baroda. Type your customer name ABC company. This is outstanding 23,360. So I am going to type 23,360. Then again enter, enter, enter. Save it. So at the time I'm going to save, enter, enter. Then it's asking check details because this is a bank entry. So that is the reason it is going to check details. Here you can select this is check or fund transfer, but in the case of PDC, it's only the check. Then put the PD check figure is here. Then select your instrument number. That means check number. So I'm putting that check number that means this number the customer check number here you want to put then the instrument date so instrument date automatically tell you pick 1 august 2020 because the voucher date is also 1 august that is the reason tell you take this one then enter here you can mention your customer check bank name that means which bank customer is using so you can select uh, type here customer bank date I see I see a bank India this is a customer bank name then enter then here you can select PDC receipt date that means when you are collecting that PDC check when you are collecting that PDC check means the current date you want to put here then you have any PDC note you can mention here remarks okay suppose in your tally this option is not showing you can click this button okay this alt f1 here you can see the detail then it will appear like this okay if you want to add more details here there is a configuration button is here you can see configure click the configure you can enable some other options in this screen so you want to make show receivable from remarks then show branch name show transaction mode then you can make it yes then branch name will appear here you can put your branch name so where is your branch you can mention here then and then here you can PDC not so you can put any some PDC remarks like here so remarks then extra remarks you want to extra something that also you can put extra remarks okay here you can use PDC not okay in this way you can uh, enter the receipt entry after that save it okay when the date will become uh, 1 August, that time it will automatically go to current voucher. That means current voucher type. You no need to change post date and to current date. It will automatically change into current date. Then here you can check this is the last date of entry is 90 July 2020. But one entry we already passed in 1 8 2020. But it is tallied it as a post date entry. In the same way you can pass payment also. So I am going to make payment entry. Go to accounting voucher, select the payment. Then same way we can change the period. Go here, one eight. Then make it post date. Then select your bank name. This is my bank name. 
then enter then here select your supplier name so xyz is my supplier then select figure i am not out 25000 sorry not 20 okay 25000 then enter against this bill then enter and then the same bank allocation details will come like this here you can check the check, enter the details here uh, instrument number you can put the instrument number okay then instrument date but here instrument date is which date you are going to make the payment here first august okay then uh, your favoring name which name you want to print in your uh, check this is uh, one of the option here you can put your uh, supplier name so you can make check print from the tally so that time this name will print in your check okay and then pdc issue date here you can this is a pdc today date is a pdc issue date then PD, normally is a pdc note you can put the pdc note then remark okay then enter and save it. So the same way, whatever, which way we are passed the receipt, that same way we can pass the payment entry. That means PDC payment entry. Here you can check the last date of entries, 90 July 2020. Suppose if you want to cross your check, so there is option. Go to that same entry. That means the payment entry. Then go here. Then configure. There is option. Show check crossing using make it yes then here it will ask account pay select the account pay so again you check your check preview it will like account pay once you take the print from the tally that time uh, this account pay name will be displayed in your check print okay in this way you can pass pdc payment and pdc receipt and okay thanks for watching my youtube channel please subscribe my channel for getting more free videos